Shalom. Yo, family, what can we learn from the prayer of Moses in Psalms 90? Psalms 90 marks the beginning of the book four of Psalms. Psalms 90 is the oldest psalm written by Moses by the year 1440 BC. It is entitled From Everlasting to Everlasting and is noted as a prayer of Moses, the man of God. What can we learn from the prayer of Moses' family? First, Moses emphasizes the eternal nature of God. Um, second, we see that Moses begins to speak of the fragile nature of humanity. And if you continue to read, um, yet you sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like new grass of the morning. Our time on earth is short. It's basically, in a nutshell, what he's talking about. Thirdly, Moses emphasizes humanity's sinful nature and his shortcomings before a perfect God in verses 7 and 8. Note, family, we are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you our secret sins in the light of your presence. Fourth, family, Moses stresses how short life is for people in comparison with God's eternal nature in verses 9 and 12. 9 through 12, I'm sorry. Moses says, Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures, yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. Psalms 90 verse 10. Family, this verse, you know, teaches us that the existence after death, you know, that there is an existence after death. We do not just end, rather we fly to somewhere else, you know, or something like that. Verse 12 adds the lesson we should glean from the, the brevity of earthly life. Teach us basically to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom is what it's saying. So you need to be thankful for each day that you're given, no matter how old you are, young or old. Um, fifth family, Moses prays for God's grace for his people in verses 13 through 17. Verse 17 basically concludes, may the, may the, may the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands because basically, family, without God, our work amounts to nothing, you know, because we know that we're saved by faith and saved by grace. So your work, you know, is going to amount to nothing if you're not putting your full trust and letting him establish your walk for you. It is his will be done over our lives, not ours. In Psalms 90, basically, we see that Moses focuses on God's greatness, our human weaknesses, and our need for the Lord to provide grace for our daily needs, family. We are to seek wisdom and to live each day to its fullest for the glory of God and not for the glory of ourselves. Of great importance is Moses emphasizing the number, you know, to number our days, to be grateful for the days that we are given to be able to glorify him. While this poetic psalm may not literally mean we are to count each day by number, it does focus on the need to live every day for the maximum impact for the kingdom of God. The Apostle Paul wrote, family, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Paul talks about that in Ephesians 5, 15 through 16. Family, we know God calls us to every moment of every day to honor and to glory Him and to praise Him. It's all about Him. It's not about you. It's not about me. It is about Him. We are to glorify His name, exalt His name. We love you, Lord. Love you all. Have a great day. Later.